Okay, next one is object, objects, uh, point cloud distribution type. And as you can see, it has this object list. And what it allows you is to use other objects like shape, like geometry to define point cloud. So in this case, uh, modifier will use uh, vertices of this geometry as point cloud. So you can pick, click the pick button and click to the object you want to use. Now you can see that they're created by uh, point at every vertex. So you can moving this object. There is also percentage property, so right now it's 100, which means the modifier uses 100% of the vertices, but you can uh, decrease this amount. So now you can see that it uses only 56% of the points. And also you can add divergence here original points so at zero uh, they are positioned at every vertex but increasing divergence you can see that it, all of them start to randomly shift what's also great uh, using this mode is that there is a list and you can use uh, several multiple amount of objects and not only geometry but also shapes so you can uh, pick these shapes as well and pick the second one and let's actually remove our geosphere for now uh, so shapes has its two properties step size and limit uh, the first one defines uh, the step the distance between points so decreasing it you can increase amount of vertices amount of points and the limit just uh, limit amount of points because uh, decreasing the step size you can increase amount of points dramatically in a matter of just a few clicks so right now there are only 240 fragments but increase decreasing this more you can see that they start more you start getting more and more fragments Let's decrease it even more as you can see, uh, by default, it provides uh, results not interesting enough, so it's useful to use with divergence property. Okay, and now start. Let's decrease it even more. Okay, it's already 990 fragments. Let's set here. Let's say four. Okay, now two. Okay, let's put here one. And okay, now it looks like it reached uh, the limit of the amount of points. So if we have to increase here, let's say up to five thousand. Now can see that there are 2,843 fragments. Let's decrease divergence even more. Let's say 6. So now it looks more interesting. But let's increase divergence even higher. Okay, so as you can see, using this method, you can create uh, this fragmentation along some shapes. You can use as much shapes as you want. Plus, you can use geometry at the same time. 
and you can use I will decrease amount of uh, increase step size here so it will be easier to show you Let's say one okay so here's my also uh, particle system which means that you can use particle systems as well let's remove these lines and pick this particle sources and we can see in this case it uses particle system as point cloud generator And again, you can add divergence here. So right now, they're structured to each point structured to particle. And increasing divergence, you can add some variation. And also, you can change percentage to define amount of uh, particles you are going to use. So using this way you can use all this kind of objects at the same time. which makes it pretty flexible for uh, creating your own point cloud distributions okay that's enough with this uh, objects point cloud distribution type